came in now. Fantastic. Kim, can you hear us? Hello there. Hello. Hello. Singer, actor, evening, comedian, evening. blogger, Kim. Yeah, yeah, a man of many talents. <laughs> Fantastic. Good to have you on the show, man. At the How best are you of times. At the best of times, I'd say. I'd say. <laughs> Brilliant. So what do you think about our picks so far for our top five? So I don't know, did you have a chance to hear what mine were and what Joe's were? Do you have any sort of disagreements or any kind of additions? To um, I've been there's a lot of them. I haven't had the chance to get out to them yet. So it's, it's, it's sort of a case of, right, go get this done, go get this done. Mm. Right. So what would you say is, uh, what's your number one? Uh, but company, would you say? They, they all sound pretty good. Oh, my number one coaster. I, this this one's, it's a bit biased because I'm, I'm not far from Fort Park. So it's, my number one coaster is the Swarm. Oh, yeah, that's, that's I, understandable. I just love that thing a bit. <laughs> that is, that is yeah, a top, top 10 to ride. That first top though. That first drop, it's one of those things. You walk up to it and it's like, all right, it's mental, especially if you're on the back as well. Yeah. Back's always the best storm swarm. Always is. <laughs> to be fair, so it looks like you'll, you'll get some really good hang time as you sort of slowly creep over, you know, into the dive loop as well. Is that definitely yeah, the case? Yeah, especially if you're on the front. If you're on the front. Yeah. You get to it, you're like, oh, you're going to go down it pretty quick. No, you get done over, you're like, oh, God. <laughs> just like crawl down, you know. Yeah, you just like, just get it over with, come on. <laughs> Brilliant. What do you think of uh, the Battle of the Nemesis? Nemesis. So, Nemesis oh. Inferno versus Nemesis. What would you say about that being a fault part? Um, Homeboy. Yeah. Like I say, I haven't got to do the original nemesis yet so i i, I would always say nemesis inferno inferno is always going to be a good one but when i think the good thing about nemesis inferno is when the mist is working it's brilliant especially at fright nights you, yeah when the mist is on it just fogs out the whole area and it's insane wow. but hopefully i'll get on nemesis eventually 100%. I mean, I can imagine looking at sort of the way they both look, you know, in terms of, um, you know, sort of Nemesis as it is at Alton Towers and then Nemesis Inferno kind of as it is at Fort Park. They look like two completely sort of separate experiences and obviously the only thing that kind of links them is the name. But at the same yeah, time, definitely. they're probably kind of equal in certain ways, but obviously Nemesis at Alton Towers have that, you know, has that proximity with the rocks as you're diving through. So it would yeah. be very interesting to fit, sort of find out what you do think when you have ridden that. 100%, you know, com in comparison to... Yeah, kind of, yeah, definitely. Mm. Definitely. Like, so it's, how, it's one how, of them coasters that I genuinely look of. Oh, it's, it's amazing. It really is. I can't, I can't fault it whatsoever. <laughs> so what would you say is your... At, at Friday nights, what would you say is your favourite Friday nights, would you say? Um, right, at Friday nights. It's 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 split between Inferno and Saw really, I think. Mm. I think Saw's mm. outdoor drop at night is just even more crazier than it is during the day. Because you start going up and you can't see a thing, an absolute thing, and then it just gets you by surprise. <laughs> does the does am I am I imagine I've not been to Fort for a couple of years now, but um it's got got a volcano. Does a volcano do anything uh anymore or did it do anything or have, have I completely imagined that part of the ride? <laughs> I'm sure it goes done it helix around a volcano type section. I'm, I'm just trying to think. Uh, the the volcano yeah, like with the tunnel after you leave the station <laughs> yeah they're supposed to have missed effect hmm. you know it's it's always one of them cases i've been before is that they build rides with these effects but they can't keep them maintained 
Is that is that just a Merlin thing though, or is that kind of just a far part thing? A Merlin thing. I don't know. <laughs> I think it might be a Merlin thing. Yeah, I can I can lead towards that definitely, <laughs> especially from previous experiences at least. Yeah. You only, have to look at, you only have to look at the way the Wicker Man statue is right now to realise that obviously yeah. it's quite different to how it was when it actually first opened. I mean, for one, yeah. there's no there's no screens yeah. left in it, so you know. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's it's like the same with Swarm, like with the fire truck at the side. Hmm. One minute it's setting the fire off. Now, I think I was in a queue once and I just stood there counting how many times it would go off mm. within that time. And it was like every four or five trains, something like that. Just like in some well, it's still working, just. Yeah. Right, well, Kim, thanks for thanks for joining us then. That's been really good. So thanks, yeah, for, thanks, very much. thanks for Thanks very much for having me.